Tucker is out. He is canceled. He is canned. And the left is rejoicing. That's right. The bombshell report came across the wire earlier today, came across my computer, that Fox News and Tucker Carlson have parted ways. There was really no explanation why. Just a simple, we thank him for his service to the network. That's classic corporate speak for get out of here. And, and that was his last show that we saw last Friday, April 21st. It is stunning because Tucker's show was must-watch TV for half the country, at least half the country. In fact, he was the highest rated single host at Fox News. And for all that, he got his pink slip this morning. The left is singing hallelujah. CNN called him a right-wing extremist who used his primetime perch at the talk network to exert a firm grip over the Republican Party. Yeah, that's right. No one's talking about Don Lemon being canned today. Everyone is hypothesizing why, though. Why is Tucker out? And here's the two main reasons that you're going to hear in the news. Number one, follow the money. Just a week ago, Fox News settled a monster defamation lawsuit with Dominion Voting Systems. It was almost $800 million over the network's coverage. If you recall, Dan Bongino last week said he was leaving the network. Well, apparently that was just the first domino, but Tucker was part of that coverage. And you may not know this, but there's another lawsuit out there still uh, being brought by Spartmatic. It's another polling manufacturing machine company. Company. So we haven't seen the end of all the defamation lawsuits yet, but if that $800 million settlement has anything to do with what's coming down the pike, well, there's more to come. Then there's the discrimination lawsuit filed by Abby Grossberg. She was a Fox News producer who was fired by the network last month, and she alleges a sexist work environment, among other things. So it's, it's pretty simple. It's just math. When the cost of something outweighs the benefit of something, regardless of your ratings, you're going to be out. And that's what Fox News Corp or Fox Corp and Chairman Rupert Murdoch decided as they evaluated the facts. Okay, so both of those seem like legitimate grounds for a termination, for a departure. But I really, really believe there's something more at play here. And that's everything to do with control the narrative to control the people. Let's face it, Tucker Carlson was the deep state and the mainstream media's public enemy number one. It was only a matter of time before he would be silenced one way or another. It always happens this way. You are eventually silenced. Tucker wasn't afraid to take on what every other news reporter or network was afraid of. He was original, he was bold, he was unafraid, and now he's gone. Even if he were to try to rebuild his platform, it would take years. And again, the left is clapping. Just look at how hard it's been for Bill O'Reilly or Glenn Beck without the might of a network like Fox News behind you as a platform. It's very, very difficult. Um, don't forget also that it was Tucker who blew the lid on the January 6th Capitol riot. He obliterated the prosecution and the January 6th committee's assertion about what went down that day. And how did he do it? He simply played the videotapes of what, went, of what happened, of what went down. And none of us had seen any of that until he played them on national news, on primetime national news. And the alleged insurrectionists strolling through the Capitol, being escorted by Capitol Police, and taking selfies along the way was all news to us, new news. And in the following days, don't forget, the infamous QAnon shaman, Jacob Chansley was released from federal prison because of good behavior while he was in prison. Yeah, right. That's the reason. Has nothing to do with that. Okay. And it was Tucker who called it what it was with NCAA swimmer Riley Gaines in her plight at the forefront of saving women's sports against unfair competition from former males. He brought attention to the issue and it needed to be discussed and thankfully progress has been made. And it was Tucker who just had on Elon Musk and blew the lid on the FBI's undue influence on social media with his release of the Twitter files. Many people before this had heard about what Elon was doing and had seen what Matt Taibbi and others were, were doing with the Twitter files, being enabled by Elon Musk making very public all of this information that some suspected, but we didn't have clear evidence of. Now, when Tucker put it on air, people like my mom and dad found out about it for the first time. 
and they and people listened and people were disgusted and now we know it is systemic the three letter agencies are systemic in our social media to con to control the narrative this is why tiktok is under attack it's not because they're chinese owned it's because the U.S. three-letter agencies want to be able to control TikTok, just like they control Facebook, Instagram, Google, YouTube, all the others. And TikTok is right up there as well. They're going to they're gonna find a way to control the narrative on TikTok as well. And it was Tucker, finally, who continues to beat the drum about Hunter Biden lying about his laptop, lying about his Chinese dealings, lying about Ukraine dealings, lying about Russia dealings, and all the like. You see, to the deep state, Tucker was dangerous. He was too dangerous. And so they took him out. What does this mean for you and me? What does it mean? It means we go on. We go forward. We continue to seek the truth. We continue to speak the truth. Tucker was not the beginning, and Tucker is not the end. Yes, his voice carried weight. His voice represented the ideas of people who stood up against the narrative, who stood up against the deep state. But know this, while they silenced one, they cannot silence us all. What do you think, Wolfpack? Where do you stand on this? If we don't stick together, the America we love will be lost. We need to keep her free, and I invite you to join the cause. Share your comments below, and make sure you subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and hit that like button. Until next time, be ready, be strong, be alert, and keep on prepping.